God is Redeemer. God is worthy of worship. God is the Lord. God is the one true God. God gives new life. God is provider. Have you ever had a treasured possession? For me, when I was your age, my special thing that I hated to share with other people was chocolate. Chocolate. When I ever got chocolate, man, did I not like to share my chocolate. You know, I had four sisters. Four sisters. They liked to share everything with me. And I had to share a lot of things. But when I got a candy bar or when I got my chocolate, you better believe I did everything I could to keep it mine. I didn't like to share it. In fact, when they stole some of it, I did everything I could to get it back. The Bible kind of talks about God a bit like that. See, the Bible says that we are God's special treasure, that we're his creation. He created us and he loves us. And he loved his people, Israel. The Bible says that God treasured them. The thing is, though, they got caught up in slavery in Egypt. They were no longer having God as their master, but these people. And these people worshipped false gods. The Bible says that God made a way. He did everything he could. He sent plague after plague after plague. He sent Moses into Egypt to pull the people out. Because God wanted to redeem his people. Redeem simply means to buy back. That they were God's possession because he created them. But then they, they became masters to, to Egypt. And God decided to do everything he could to buy them back. Even today, many years later, and for many years in the past, the Israelites celebrated a festival called the Festival of Unleavened Bread. That was the kind of bread that they ate as they left Egypt, as they celebrated God's deliverance from Egypt. You see, they spend a week every year celebrating the festival of unleavened bread, celebrating God as the redeemer, God who buys back. I don't know about you, but I know that God has redeemed my life and my family's life. When I look back to when my grandparents were my age, man, they were living a life that was not for God. Yeah, God created them and he loved them, but they were under the master of sin. They were slaves to sin. They were messing up and making mistakes and acting foolishly, but God created them and he wanted to redeem them. See, they heard about Jesus. They went to a service, a church service, in a soccer stadium full of people. And they heard a preacher called Billy Graham. And as Billy Graham preached, they, their hearts were convicted. They knew that they needed Jesus to be their savior and to redeem them. And so they responded to that message and they became God's treasured possession again. They were no longer slaves to sin, but Jesus was now their master. See, that changed the way that they raised their kids and it changed the way that they helped their grandkids me. I wonder, where would I be today if God did not redeem my grandparents? God's redeemed my life too. There's been times I've made big mistakes and walked away from him, but God is a good and a faithful God who desires relationship with us. He wants you to be his special possession, his special treasure. Are you willing to give your life to him? Are you willing to trust him with everything? He is a good and faithful God. And I promise you, if you trust in him, you'll never regret it.